Okay, thanks for joining us today, Sarah. Could you just tell us who you are and what you do? Yeah, thanks. Um, my name is Sarah Oliver. I'm the marketing team leader at Dundee Angus College. So one of our areas of responsibility for the team is looking after all our digital channels, which uh -huh. include the website, social media, and the screens around the campuses. Okay, grand. So let's talk about talk about the website if we could. Yeah. Um, the college has obviously got quite a large website. What are the key reasons for having a website? What, what are they trying to achieve by having a website? Yeah, so the website is one of our main promotional tools and we do find that about 50% of the visitors coming to our website are looking for course information. Okay. Um, so that is really important, we've got that there. Um, people use it for informing their choice of you know future careers. Mm -hmm. um, it's also quite useful for parents and guidance staff to find out what options there are there. Um, we offer a range of courses um, from people wanting to study full time, evening classes, leisure, hobby classes, and also people who are currently in work who want to upskill or do some mandatory training. So there are a wide range of courses. So that is the most popular area of our course, um, of our website. Okay, so it's, 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 it's a promotion, communication, sort of it engagement is, yeah. tool, isn't yeah. it? Uh, very data heavy it sounds. It is, Lots yeah, yeah. we do, um, to complement that we have a printed prospectus which comes out once a year, but as with a lot of printed documents, as soon as it's printed it could be out of yeah. date, the information could be changing all the time. Um, we're always keeping up with industry trends to refresh our course content, so the most the most reliable source of information is our website. Um, so we always ask people to look at our website for the most current source of um, the course information. Cool. And I do believe the website is undergoing a bit of a, an improvement it is. at the moment. Yeah, definitely. So our current website was put into place in November 2013 um, when Dundee College merged with Angus College. Okay. So that was quite a big project, but also done quite quickly. Um, and since then, things have moved on so quickly in the terms of digital. So our current site is quite text heavy, and um, we find just under 50% of our users are looking at it on a mobile device. Okay. So you've got to bear that in mind and think how things translate. And there is a lot of text and people don't want to be scrolling. Mm -hmm. So our new website is going to be a lot more um, more graphics, more photography, make it more engaging, bite-sized chunks of information mm -hmm. rather than big pages. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to that. It's due to launch over the next few months, um, so it will be quite a big improvement. Um, the current site is on a grid-based format, so it's quite structured. The new format is going to be a lot more looser, flexible, right. just a bit more, yeah, a bit more engaging, a bit funkier. So right. yeah, we're looking forward to that. Cool. Is the website being done internally or is it an external um, This that? time we've been able to engage an external agency. Okay. So the last time, just due to timescales merger, it was all done internally. This time we're able to use an external company. So it's really good getting their insight because this is their business, yeah. you know, day in, day out. So they're up to date yeah. with you know all the current trends and things. So yeah, we're, we're working with them very closely. Um, both on the aesthetics and the technical side of things um, okay. and then once the site goes live um, we'll be able to yeah, manage it internally. Oh super. Can you, I guess with your role we are all sort of digital communications, do we use social media? We do yeah, especially our main target audience, one of our main target audiences is young people, school leavers. So they are very much um, using social platforms. So at the moment we use um, Facebook and Twitter. Um, we have looked at Instagram, but you need to have an ongoing supply of good quality content for that. Mm -hmm. So we've not been able quite to sustain you know, the amount of content, mm -hmm. but we find Facebook and Twitter work for us. Um, short, sharp messages yep. accompanied by nice visuals, you know, showing off our students, showing off mm -hmm. our courses, showing off our facilities. Um, so we find that really works and the beauty about that is you've got your inbuilt analytics mm -hmm. so you can see what the reach has been um, and you know you can work on trends, seeing times of day, seeing if particular images, you know like images of dogs seem to go down quite well for engagement <laughs> terms. So yeah, it's interesting. You can get almost instant feedback which you couldn't really get from you know traditional yeah. forms of advertising. Okay, that's great. Well thanks for your time today, Sarah. You're welcome. I really appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you.